Hey everyone, Joe here. Today I got another DaVinci Resolve tutorial for you. Now what we have today uh, is how to sync your audio and video files together manually. Now this tutorial may be on DaVinci Resolve directly, but you can be used in any other video editing program. It doesn't matter uh, if it's Premiere Pro, Final Cut, or uh, even the other free versions of stuff out on the internet. So like I said, this is how I actually sync my audio and video files up together all the time. So before we get started into this tutorial, check out this awesome product from A Shampoo. A Shampoo Backup Pro 14 backs up your data and operating system automatically to all common storage types and cloud services. Always up to date backups take the fear out of hardware failure, OS issues, or malware infections. Don't miss my demo and review of Backup Pro 14. Plus learn more and download your free trial by clicking the links in the description below. Okay, everybody, welcome back. Now, why would you want to have your audio and video files separated? You know, most people can record them like in the camera and it seems pretty easy. Well, sometimes you may have cameras like this. This is a little Sony uh, Handycam. There's no way to input a mic input into this. And a lot of times people like to record like a lav mic. And for example, I could plug a lav mic to the Zoom H1 if you don't want to use this one separately. So there's a lot of reasons to record your audio separately, mainly because a lot of the microphones inside, even the good uh, video cameras, are normally fairly horrible to almost good at best. It's always good to record your audio externally. Now, that said, that's why, but now you probably will know how to sync them up. Now, I use a little clapperboard. I use this thing all the time. I just used it about 30 seconds ago, starting this video, matter of fact. So if you want an example of how this works, well, this whole video is an example. So anyway, this is what I use. I like to be able to open it, and I sit here and go up like that. Yeah, that's how I do it, and I'll show you in uh, you know, DaVinci Resolve here how I actually sync them up. Now, the camera I'm re recording into, my little handy cam here, is recording audio and video at the same time. However, I do not use the video, uh, the audio file. Of course, I use the video. And I have to record my audio directly into the PC. Now, if you don't have one of these, don't worry. They're cheap. You can buy them on Amazon. <laughs> Links are down in the description below in my little Amazon store. But you can also use your hands up like that. I don't particularly like it too much because it's more of a thump, more is it a good hard slap like the wood provides here. I prefer this better. It seems to help. And I like the sound because the sound alone seems to have a sharper spike to it to easily line up your video audio video better, which I'll show you. So anyway, all that said, let's hop over here to DaVinci Resolve. I'll show you how to actually set, uh, link these up. Okay, everybody. Let me get my mic over here in good position to talk. And here we are in DaVinci Resolve. All right, I have my audio video file, and I've got this kind of zoomed in so you can get a better idea of what's going on here. And yeah, let me see here. Now, if I scroll this through here, you can see where I clap it. And I blah, blah, blah. Me starting out a video real horrible. Yeah, don't make fun of me. Everybody does this. So anyway, first thing we want to do is, you know, we drag down like the audio video file, which is what these two are. This other one here is just my audio file. That's the one moving around right here. That's just the audio I recorded completely separately in Audacity. Now this up here is my audio and video from my Sony uh, Handycam, my AXP55, or in America, the AX53 camera. And that's the audio video from it. All right. So like I said, we don't need the audio from the video file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to what says link clips, unclick that, click just the WAV file, and let's get rid of that. Wonderful. All right, let's get a kind of move our little cursor around here on the timeline to see where it sort of closes and just kind of drag where we see the big spike at on our audio file somewhere close. Yeah, let's get it close. And we'll zoom in. Okay. Yeah, zoom in really close here. Now, the whole reason it's zooming really close is so we can get a better look of everything. And I see I can move my mouse cursor. You can see the mouse cursor while I'm moving it. I can move it frame by frame as I move the arrow keys. And see, clip, clip, boom. 
somewhere about right there is where it's actually slamming shut. Yeah, about right there. Now that's where I'm going to leave it. Then I'm going to go drag my audio file over here to see the big spike. And line it up somewhere really close to about right there. Since I think it's pretty much between those two frames, where it's actually probably hitting right there is close enough. Now what I want to do is I'll take my blade and I'll just click there and there. That way I have a equal ending position. Now, if you want to, you can, uh, you know, highlight both of those and link them together and they'll stay linked together. So now that I've got that done, let me zoom back out here. And we can drag this over here out of the way. You can see I have a little bit of audio here. We can just trim that up on the end. Yep, see, now we've got them linked together. They're both together. Wonderful. And you probably want to see this in action. So we just drag it over here to start a position. Cursor over, and here we go. And this is how I start all my videos. Real serious lot. <laughs> Hey everyone, Joe here. In this all in one photo raw tutorial, I want to show you can how you can. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, all real serious like. Don't laugh. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so, anyway, everybody, yeah, that's how I sync up all my audio video files. It's really easy. I used to use the little uh, Premiere Pros and Final Cuts audio video sync method, and it isn't always accurate. Normally, it's like. 95% accurate, so I'm not going to say they don't work. They work quite well. But I found just going to this one little method, it's just easy. There's no guessing if it's lined them up perfect. It is perfect where I sync them up every time. So anyway, that's it for this tutorial. It was really super easy. I know a lot of people probably don't know how to do this, but that's how simple it is. So anyway, if you like this tutorial, how about give me a thumbs up? Thumbs up is always highly appreciated. If you're not a subscriber to my channel yet, please take the time to subscribe. Subscribe is free. It's for you. Let you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everybody. Thank you for watching.